John VI Cantacuzenus or Cantacuzenus was the Byzantine emperor from 1347 to 1354. Early life, born in Constantinople, John Cantacuzenus was the son of Michael Cantacuzenos, governor of the Moria. Donald Nichol speculates that he may have been born after his father's death and raised as an only child. Through his mother Theodora Palaiologina Angelina, he was a descendant of the reigning house of Palaiologos. He was also related to the imperial dynasty through his wife Irena Samina, a second cousin of Emperor Andronicos III Palaiologos. Cantacuzenus became a close friend to Andronicos III and was one of his principal supporters in Andronicos' struggle against his grandfather, Andronicos II Palaiologos. On the accession of Andronicos III in 1328, he was entrusted with the supreme administration of affairs. On the death of the emperor in 1341, John Cantacuzenus was left as the designated regent and guardian of John's son John V. Palaiologos, who was nine years old. John had no imperial ambitions of his own and refused to be crowned co-emperor, despite being offered the opportunity by Andronicos III Palaiologos several times. After the death of the emperor, John again refused to take the throne and insisted that the rightful heir was John V, and that he would assume administrative control of the empire until he was of age. Despite his stalwart devotion to the young emperor and his mother, the Empress Anna of Savoy, his friendship with the late emperor had aroused both the jealousy of the Patriarch of Constantinople and his former proto-copyright gar copyright Alexios Apokorkos, and the paranoia of the empress who suspected him to be a usurper. When John Cantacuzenus left Constantinople for the Moria, his enemies seized the opportunity to declare John V emperor and order the disbandment of Cantacuzenus's army. When news reached the army at Didymet Tychon in Thrace, they declared Cantacuzenus emperor, marking the start of the civil war between Cantacuzenus and the regency in Constantinople. The ensuing civil war lasted six years, during which the rival parties called in the aid of the Serbians, Bulgarians, and the Ottoman Turks, and engaged mercenaries of every description. It was only by the aid of the Ottoman Turks, with whom he made a bargain, that Cantacuzenus brought the war to a favorable end. He received sanctuary and was allied with Serbian Stefan Duan. Reign, in 1347, Cantacuzenus entered Constantinople in triumph with an army of 1,000 men and forced his opponents into an arrangement by which he became joint emperor with John V. Palaiologos and sole administrator during the minority of his colleague. His triumph in the Six Year Civil War is the subject of the poem John Cantacuzenus Triumphs by the modern Greek poet Constantine Kavafi. He made his own son Matthew Cantacuzenus a co emperor in 1353. During this period, the empire, already broken up and reduced to narrow limits, was assailed on every side. There was an unsuccessful war with the Genoese, and in particular their colony at Galata, across the Golden Horn from Constantinople. His later involvement in the Venetiana Euro Genoese War of 1350 Euro 1355 also brought no concrete results, and was terminated by a treaty with Genoa in May 1352. War also erupted against the Serbians who were at the time establishing an extensive empire on the northwestern frontiers. A hazardous alliance was formed with the Ottoman Turks, who made their first permanent settlement in Europe, at Gallipoli in Thrace, towards the end of his reign. In 1349, he sent a newly built fleet of nine fair-sized ships and about 100 smaller ones against the Genoese, but it was captured in its entirety. Then in 1351, he sent twelve ships to help Venice against Genoa, but the fleet was defeated. Cantacuzenus was far too ready to invoke the aid of foreigners in his European quarrels. Since he had no money to pay them, this gave them a ready pretext for seizing upon a European town. The financial burdens imposed by him had long been displeasing to his subjects, and a strong party had always favored John V. Palaiologos. Hence, when the latter entered Constantinople at the end of 1354, his success was easy. Retirement as a monk. Cantacuzenus retired to a monastery, where he assumed the name of Joseph Christodoulos and occupied himself with literary labors. 
In 1367 Joseph was appointed the representative of the Eastern Orthodox Church to negotiate with the Latin Patriarch of Constantinople Paul to attempt a reconciliation of the Eastern Orthodox and Roman Catholic Churches. They agreed to call a Grand Ecumenical Council to be attended by the Pope and all the Patriarchs and Bishops and Archbishops of both the Eastern and Western Churches. This plan was subsequently refused by Pope Urban V and so nothing came of it. Cantacuzenus died in the Peloponnese and was buried by his sons at Mistra in Laconia. Writings, his history and four books deals with the years 1320 Euro 1356. An apologia for his own actions, it needs to be read with caution. Fortunately it can be supplemented and corrected by the work of a contemporary, Nike Pelros Gregoras. It possesses the merit of being well arranged and homogeneous the incidents being grouped around the chief actor in the person of the author, but the information is defective on matters with which he is not directly concerned. Cantacuzenus also wrote a defense of Hussitism, a Greek mystical doctrine. Family, by his wife Irene Asanina, a daughter of Andronikos Arsan, John VI Cantacuzenus had several children, including, Matthew Cantacuzenos, co-emperor 1353 Euro 1357, Later despot of the Moria, Manuel Cantacuzenos, despot of the Moria, Andronikos Cantacuzenos, Maria Cantacuzen, who married Nike Pelros II Orsini of Epirus, Theodora Cantacuzen, who married Sultan Oran of the Ottoman Empire, Helena Cantacuzen, who married John V. Palaiologos. Notes Sources, Jonathan Harris, The Lost World of Byzantium, Yale University Press, 2015 Donald M. Nicole, The Reluctant Emperor, A Biography of John Cantacuzin, Byzantine Emperor and Monk, c. 1295-1383, Cambridge University Press, 1996. Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium, Oxford University Press, 1991. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. Encyclopaedia Britannica. Cambridge University Press.